Okay, scary spice today. Scary spice into the bumper clot. <laughs> okay, so today's video, I thought I'd come to you with it. First of all, if you haven't seen these already, I've been getting compliments everywhere about this IKEA nose. <laughs> it's probably gonna be backwards, but <laughs> use my nails for the time being. I'm probably gonna change them tonight or if not tomorrow. But Basically, I just thought I'd come to you with a video because I've left the salon that I was previously working in and I feel like there's a lot of clients that I had that were growing their nails, they were on a nail journey and I don't want to feel like I left you guys hanging. I don't need you guys to feel like I just left you hanging, your nails going to be broke up, okay? So, 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 I thought I'd just drop this video on how to grow and maintain your nails, okay? Um, this is also for people, obviously, that are not people that I've worked on. Like, this is just a video that I'm putting out there because I feel like so many women would come to me and say, like, sorry, my nails look crap today or just anything like that. Sorry, I'm a bit nippy. Let me just quickly grab. Right, so, yeah, so basically, that's that. So, yeah, so I just wanted to come along and give some tips on how you can actually grow your nails long now my nails are basically the length of my acrylic it's basically an overlay at this point so if i have any nails that are exposed to the earth just know odds are me as a nail tech i'm gonna bite it i'm gonna bite that i'm gonna it's, it's gone it's gone just charge it to the game just charge it like you gotta try to not bite your nails, but me personally, I do struggle with that myself, so I fully understand. I would recommend is what I always say is if you chip a nail or anything like that, and you have got time and you have got the energy, try to get an appointment as soon as you possibly can with the nail technician that you have. Okay, because if you want to grow your nails underneath your shellac or your acrylic or whatever, you just want to grow them it's like for example trying to grow your hair and having bleach on it which is something to enhance it in people's eyes in like some people's eyes obviously it does enhance for some people so yeah and not ever conditioning it it's like the same with the nail it's like you're putting things on it and it's like and then it's just there exposed like oh oh god oh god oh oh that's your nail your nail's doing this like to the world is exposed because as i've said before we have only three layers of nail so whenever you bite off your shellac you're peeling off a layer whenever you're biting off your acrylic bits you're biting off a layer peeling that a layer at least so just think about you're sacrificing at least a third of your nail so also um this doesn't work for a lot of people long term but for the short term so it would help to if i was if i was really that like, dedicated to growing my nails what i would do is there's um a lot of products out there that you put on your nail solutions and when you bite your nails it tastes horrible a lot of people do become immune to that and end up taste that like, ends up tasting okay to them um what i would do is just keep that there for emergencies only so like if you can't get to a salon then that's there in the drawer somewhere do you know what i mean but not for like useful like i'll tell you say maybe if if something peels off your nail your nail's just there if you want to grow it maybe i would say only leave it exposed unless your nails are strong already and you haven't affected them from putting something on it i would say to only try maximum to leave it exposed for two days because other than that you're probably going to break it on something or buy it off um also once your nails look nice if you get some nails that you have really taken time to think about once your nails are done, you're not going to want to ruin them. You're not going to want to ruin them. So I would say that it's best to look up nails that you actually like before you go to the salon. So that when you do go there, then you're really happy with the nails. It's not like you just quickly grabbed whatever's there because you felt like you were pressed for time because there might be an ex-client waiting or, you know what I mean? It's just awkward. You're sitting there for like, do you know what I mean? If you're not, for me personally, I wish I could sit in a nail table for an hour looking through the colors and 
doing price comparing. Yeah, I'm quite. If I have got the time, I let I play around with colours of people. I don't mind doing that. But a lot of nail techs don't care. And I'm just being honest, a lot of the speedy, speedy ones, they don't care about your life. <laughs> they just want you to pick the damn colours. They can pinch. That's how they see it. So if you pick something from before, or even if it's a couple ideas, so if the nail tech can't actually do the nail art that you want, if you do want nail art, um, then you can always choose the other thing. So you've got a backup. So you're not then now lost and looking for something quickly, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, this is just a quick one. This is just literally a quick one for this week. Um, I've obviously got a lot more content coming. Um, in a really good place, actually. Um, like, I feel so relieved. Just in terms of, like, I'd say most areas of my life, actually. I think, yeah, I'm actually in a really good place for once. I can't complain. I can genuinely say I cannot complain. Like, and that is such a good thing to be able to say. I'm so blessed and grateful for I hope you guys have a great week. And yeah, just stay blessed. If you are someone who's knows that I did do and you feel a bit lost about something, you can always message me. Uh, I have got messages about where to go for nail art. I would recommend Cherries and Diamonds if you're willing to travel or you don't mind someone coming to you or Maison des Zones in Clapham Common. Yeah, that's what I would recommend personally because I know that you'd be happy with the results of your nails. Um, and yeah, as I said, I'll see you guys soon. Content coming. And yeah, thank you guys for even watching in the first place. I love you. See you guys later. Have a good week. Have a great day.